Bradford. So I want to find the, uh, for a confidence level of 85%, what's the critical Z value? What the heck does that mean? Let's draw a picture. So a picture, straight line, bell shaped curve. Z's have a center of zero, standard deviation of one. So one, two, three standard deviations would be right there. One, two, negative three standard deviations would be around over there. Now we know if we went two standard deviations on each side, so negative two there, positive two there, we would end up with about 95% in the middle. So I need to come in on each side of those twos to get 85. So let me draw this again. Zero is in the middle because I'm doing Z scores. One, two, three takes us out to the extreme edge of this tail. One, two, three, negative three extreme edge of that tail. So somewhere in here more is 85%. So I'm gonna guess, I'm just gonna put it in the middle because I'm not really sure, that somewhere less than two, maybe around 1.5, is 85% in there. So I need to figure out how do I ask StatKey to do that? Well, it turns out it's pretty easy to do StatKey because this is just a two tail in StatKey. Two tail in the StatKey normal. Spreadsheet would be a little bit more work because then I have to figure out, well, what's this left tail? Because spreadsheet only does left tail stuff. <clears throat> but I'm gonna double check that too. All right, so over to stack key to figure this out. And I want the theoretical normal distribution again. And so if you need that link, I'll put it in the chat or in the YouTube video description. Here's the page I'm on, I'm gonna reset it. Uh, double check mean and standard deviation. I'm doing the Z score, so I don't have to change that. And I wanna do a two tail with 85 in the middle. So the nice thing about two tail is it balances the left and right tail for me. So I don't have to worry about it. I just tell it put 0.5 or 85% in the middle. It says then negative 1.44 will be the left z-score and positive 1.4 will be the right z-score. And notice they're the same but opposites. So we call this a critical z-score and we always refer to the positive one. So the book calls this, this value that I'm looking for right here, which is red, stand out, this value right here. The book calls that Z star. It's what's called a critical Z value or a critical Z score. Critical Z value, AKA the Z score. And for 85% in the middle, stack key says that critical Z score, our book calls it Z star, should be about 1.44. Make sure I got that right. Yep, 1.44. Now, stack key fortunately told me, hey, if there's 85 in the middle, there should be 7.5 in the tail. So if I think about that for a second, uh, 85 to 100% is 15%. The tails have to split that 15%. So that's that 7.5%. So other notation for this, that's gonna be important and come up. This is called the confidence level. It's often abbreviated CL. And in this case, it is 85% or 0 0.85. All right, so that's in the middle. So new sketch, confidence level goes here. We then have the tail probabilities to, to consist, to, to look at. And the relationship to those right there is, is this alpha that we talk about when we're doing hypothesis tests. This is a confidence interval. And alpha and the confidence level are related in that alpha plus the confidence level is always gonna be 100%. Which means alpha is always the confidence level minus one. So in this case, my alpha is 85%. Oops, I did that backwards and I track the confidence level over one minus the confidence level, that's better. So in this case, I have one minus 0 0.85, which equals 0 0.15%, 15%, and the tails have to split that. So this is alpha over two, which 
to be that 0 0.075, 7.75, This one is the same thing, alpha over two. The reason I'm mentioning this is a couple things. Uh, we're gonna see this kind of relationship notation before between alpha, the confidence level, and alpha over two. And the spreadsheet needs this right here to be able to calculate this critical Z4. So I need that for a spreadsheet. Another reason I mentioned this is if you look up statistics other places or you find uh, other YouTube videos besides the ones I'm creating now, sometimes you'll receive this referred to as Z with a subscript alpha over two because it's referring to that tail probability here or here. Uh, and again, we usually refer to the positive one. The other one is just the negative of it. So I'm just going to calculate that on a spreadsheet. So on the spreadsheet, I'm given the percent and I want to find the z-score. So that's what we call an inverse. Spreadsheet. So we're just going to double check here. I'm going to add a new tab. Uh, do I need to add a new tab here? No, I can go for it. So here I'm going to put uh, alpha over two. And that was one minus the confidence level. So I'm just going to go type, or actually I have to divide by two. I guess I'm just going to put the number 0 0.075. And then I want to find the z score that goes with it. And that's just basically what I did over there. So I'm just going to do that. I type norm. Uh, norm inverse gives us z scores often, but it can give us some other things. Uh, norm disk gives us probabilities. So I got to keep that straight. Which one do I want? I have the probability. I want to know what the z score is. That's an inverse. So I'm a norm dot inverse is the one I recommend using. Uh, main reason is it's more compatible with Excel for you Excel users out there. It wants to know what's your tail probability. Documentation really doesn't specify that very well. We just got to know it. So there's my tail probability. It's a z-score, so the mean is zero, standard deviation is one, that's all it needs. And I should get uh, about the same thing. Now here, stack key is reporting it as the negative version. In my notes, I go back and give the positive version. If we were to round that to two decimal places, we would get negative 1.44, but stack key gives me a ton more decimal places if I happen to need more accuracy. And there's sometimes when I might want a fourth or a fifth decimal, stack key usually gives me two or three. So point, Another way to do it, more decimals if I want them. It's um, equivalent to using stack key, but stack key is just way easier. Right? Stack key, I just went and plugged in the 85 and it said, hey, here's your z scores. 